I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope overview for you Pisces for the week of November the 9th. All right, let's have a look at what's happening because there's a lot happening this week. I'm calling it a week of opportunity. There's a lot of sex styles which are uh, uh, opportunities. However, it does need your energy really mixed in. It's okay <laughs> if the stars align, but it's your energy that really provides the magic that makes things sort of happen. Okay, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, an opportunity can just as easily pass you by. Now, right opposite you, we still have um, Jupiter there and Mars is there for part of the week. Mars is going to move into the next sign to join Venus. Now, uh, first of all, in the seventh house right opposite you, there's, there's Jupiter there right through to the middle of next year, say or August. Um, then uh, you know you can be lucky with love and but it's up to you to really recognize love when it when it comes and taps on your heart uh, Pisces and go after it if you've got somebody special in your life don't let them get away because you know what the, the grass isn't always greener okay and when you know you know in your heart really your heart and soul that that uh, they're right then uh, you know I gotta say to you what are you waiting for okay? Okay, uh, you like to sort of take things slow and um, you know make sure you know because it's only through the through time that you really get to know someone and you're aware of that Pisces but uh, really you know in your heart and soul when something is right now with Mars moving into meet Venus into the next sign somebody can step forward to help you uh, with finances during this period and particularly with work related okay because we do have a uh, sextile an opportunity with Venus and Saturn. Saturn is sitting for next for the next couple of years in your area of work, career, and business, and uh, so this in gives you an indication that somebody you can meet around this time can be really beneficial to you uh, in the long term because anything that happens with Saturn under Saturn vibration I mean okay it can be a little bit hard work I'm a Capricorn I'm ruled by Saturn so I am you know I had to come to sort of uh, uh, appreciate Saturn's energy but it can be sort of hard work but everything that happens with Saturn can really just set things solid for the future okay so it's not flighty here today and gone tomorrow so there's an indication that people that you meet around this time and you know you'll recognize them can be instrumental in helping you gain some financial security in your life particularly over this next month you know say a four week period okay be mindful of chance meetings you know the coincidences synchronicity I love that movie serendipity if you haven't seen that then uh, you know that's a great movie to go and to go and see um, of course not on theater anymore but you can get it on you know on demand or whatever um, all right, so uh, then we do have a new moon this week as well, midweek. That's going to help you just open up to uh, where your journey is going to take you. It's almost a little bit sort of energy of being a bit fatalistic, which of course goes totally against what I said to you at the start of this reading, where you know you need to put your energy in to uh, make things happen. So you know I do believe there's sort of destiny and free will and I know that's sort of a, a long long um, discussion and uh, you know I could change my mind on that as I you know grow evolve and I you know get to learn more about uh, you know, I think some things are, you know, in the stars, let's say, but how you go about it, the journey that you take, and certainly the attitude that you have is certainly, in my mind, free will. Um, so, it, you know, I think there's a lot of this balance in your chart this week and it's really, you're the only one, Pisces, that really can know you know whether you need to step forward 
or whether you need to just take a step back and, and wait. No one else can really tell you that. Um, and you're a highly intuitive sign. Um, so you know what? It, it's it, it's You're capable of doing that. You're a dual sign though. You've got the two fishies. I'm sure I've said this many times. So you like to overanalyze and sometimes you like to overanalyze. So try not to sort of get caught in that and uh, you know, get in touch with your feeling more in intuitive side. Okay. Um, uh, friends are going to sort of, uh, you know, play a part as well. And although it's good to listen to their advice, um, it doesn't mean to say you have to take it on board. Okay, so certainly be open to listening to advice. But at the end of the day, uh, what you do is entirely up to you. Don't allow anyone else to sort of try to pressure you into doing anything else, all right? Okay, I hope it's a great week. I am calling it a week of opportunity. I certainly hope it is for you. And love and luck to you. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.